All right, welcome to the final day of NDI November. Real exciting yep. day today. I got two great guests. I got Tony now from uh, Digital Video Dynamics. Tony is a customer of Video Guys. He runs a production yep. company, does really do cool stuff. And then after the show, we have an exclusive interview with Dr. Cross, the founder, inventor of NDI. He's not with VizRT or New Tech anymore, but he's graciously agreed to be on the show. And we can't wait to talk to him later. Tony. Welcome to the show. You Thanks. were on the show last year. Yep. You talked about some great workflows you were yeah, doing. Yeah. And you're even doing more. But before we get yeah, into sure. that, we got to talk about a special award you got. So, so yeah. it's a big round of applause. An NDI November round of <laughs> yep. applause for Tony, the winner of the 2022 TriCast and Director of the Year Award for Education. High five, Thank you. Buddy. Way yeah. to go. Tell us a little about that. Well, it was, it, it was such a surprise to both my wife and I, <clears throat> excuse me, when we were watching the, the playback or the live event, rather. And uh, I just decided, I said, you know what? I thought some of the work we were doing might fit underneath the education category. And it's all virtual. And at that point, because it was in the middle of COVID. And ironically, yeah, they, the voting came in and they deemed it worthy enough to be director of the year so, for education. So you didn't know you were going to win. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. But it was a virtual event. It wasn't like they called you up on the red That's property. right. Exactly. Very exactly. Cool. It was very cool, though. It was a lot of Very fun. cool. Yeah. So I guess the first thing we want to talk about, what products are you using to help drive your production? What is your NDI? Don't give us the whole workflow. No. Give us like the star products yeah, yeah. in your workflow. So we got the TC1 and the TC2, right? VizRT now. Um, we also use Live Call Connect yep. because um, that gives us the capability of routing the mixer and changing the mixer. Also, at location, we can use that. Uh, internet clicker, um, we use that. We use the Netgear routers now. The switches. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the switches. Oh my goodness. That has been, I, I hate the, the word game changer, but it has made our lives so much well, more. I, I, I'm going to plug it and you can bring up the lower third, guys. Yeah. The Netgear AV switches are yeah. our number one tech support solution for NDI. If you're going to build a new yes. NDI solution, build it around it, but also, if you're pulling your hair out, now not that we have hair to pull out, you are but on, and you're running into issues or stuff, yeah. you're trying to expand, you just feel like you're rocking something, what you're probably knocking your head against is the limitations of the switch you have or your own IT ability to customize that switch. The beauty of the next yes. switch is it's just that it's optimized for NDI, but it's so easy to configure, yes. expand, and scale. So thank you for bringing that well, up. Well, the here's the real great part of it you have access to their team. Yeah. And they've helped me tremendously Absolutely. on the workflow for hybrid at a location. Yeah. For NDI, separating the, the internet from the NDI. They were helping with the switches. I wouldn't have been able to do that on my own for sure. You know, and, and we get to do, we get to be creative instead of getting in the weeds of technical. Yeah. And you I, know? I think it's important to point out that this isn't like the week or the two weeks after you buy the product. If you've had the product for six months or a year and you try to do something oh new with your NDI yeah. workflow and all of a sudden stuff isn't going right, you can call them yep. and they will help custom configure and route and optimize your system for the new workflow you want. But we're not, yeah, we, we got the, uh, they, yeah, we got, they've been on a show. It's been, <laughs> it has been such a tremendous yep. help. So, yeah. so, I mean, that's why we, yeah, go ahead with the next question. Yeah, the, the next question really plays into that. Yeah. And that is, I know. how has NDI improved your workflow? What has it made possible or easier? And also talk about how it's increased the value of your, you know, your production value. Well, I mean, NDI has allowed us to add production to our shows. So like we do Zoom calls yep. for bringing in medical yep. personnel, and they've gotten so used to that. I'll even step back. We started with Skype, consumer Skype, because yep. it had NDI built in. Yep. To be honest, without consumer Skype, I would have had to put a layer of laptops yep. for every input. So there was a convenience right there and everybody who started to see in our production team, wow, I think we can do what we were doing before COVID through virtual and NDI through Now, Skype. did you use a talk show at the time or you just used Skype? I, 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 we first, we used Skype. Right. We started to use talk show, but Skype allowed to have that intermingle yep. of the call yep. much easier than 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 yeah. Skype TX. Yep. Um, but we we used a little bit of both, but we ended up just mostly using regular Skype. 
You know, what consumer. you found was exactly what Dr. Cross spoke about, I think it was last year or the year before. The, the epidemic mm. forced the adoption of the technology to leap ahead five years. And then it was up to the engineers to catch up to the adoption. Yeah. And you've really seen that because you've been beyond an early adopter. You've almost been, I don't want to say the word inventor, but trailblazer, pioneer with some particular workflows yes. you've done with some of your shows, haven't right, you? Right, right, exactly. I mean, if you look at this right here, I mean, now we use the Telestrator. Yep. You know, we find functionality due to uh, the demands of the production, and NDI helps us meet those demands. Yep. That's really what it's all about, meeting your production demands with a tool. And, and that's what, for me, it, these are all just great tools and I'm always uh, finding something and learning something new. The teleprompter feature, these two doctors were, did not know I even had this feature. I came up with it when they sent me a script. I yep. thought they were going to ad lib yep. and they decided to create a script and they love them. It's funny because the guys in our team are after me to go with a teleprompter. Yeah. But I feel that I'm more authentic when I talk going with the PowerPoint. But then I've also realized mm -hmm. that there's, there are some shows that really I should be using a teleprompter for. So I have conceded that after NDI November, you can imagine, puts a lot of stress on the team. We're yeah. doing three or four shows a week. Right. So after we get through NDI November, right. we're in that little end of year lull. Yep. We're going to set up a teleprompter and start using it because there's sometimes where I want to go on a little uh, a rant, a diatribe, my own little thing, and having it all written there. Half the time when I do it, A, I talk about three things that weren't on the yes. list, or I forget something, and then afterwards I'm like, oh, I forgot this. And the guy's like, oh, you're live. Well, so, no, I, do like, over, buddy. Like, like I have some notes here. It would be like pulling up these notes and having them available exactly. in front of you. Exactly. You know, and there's, there's demand. So. Yep. And here's another feature that we use. Uh, that we we surprised the doctors at this conference. It was a hybrid conference. We pulled out the NDI Telestrator. Now I have the original Telestrator, which I purchased through yep. Video Guys, and we have it on a surface. The only thing I'm concerned about is what happens as iterations come, because you know I don't know. You can't really buy right. a standalone yep. Yep. version. Yep. And here's my plea or suggestion: <laughs> I would love a standalone version because I'm in the medical space. And we don't use replays for medical, so we really could use an updated version so I could use it as the hardware changes for the surfaces. So, so note to my friends at NDI and VizRT, yep. standalone Telestrator app. That could be a subscription app that you subscribe yeah, I, to. I'm but happy. what you're saying is it's not just for sports. It's, it's for not. highlighting things in a conversation with people. You see it in medical. Right. I've asked for it for education because I know yes. teachers want to be able to, you know, drawn it just yes. to keep the kids more engaged and stuff like that. Absolutely. So I love that idea and we will pass that and, along. And That's you know what one. they love? They love that they can just use their finger. Yeah. It's on a surface or a surface. Touch. Yep. Touch screen. Yep. It's great. So, awesome. So. And then one of the things that I talked about how you're an NDI pioneer. So you're using NDI in some places where, you know, I don't think you were planning on using NDI. You just had an idea of something you wanted to add to your show yeah. and it ended up that NDI was what allowed you to be able to unleash your creativity. And talk about that, because I think that's real important. Of yeah. that. It's a feature we don't talk about enough, that NDI is not just a technology. It's a tool that allows creative people to do more. Exactly. Not realizing that bef before yesterday, when you were planning for this production, you're, you're thinking about, oh, someone gives you a request, and you're like, oh, how can I do that? How can I bring that in? And so at this medical conference, we were able to replace a, a black magic switcher because it didn't have enough aux outs. Yep. And then the other issue is, okay, so how do we switch those aux outs? Because right. they've got to be changed yep. throughout the day. And through live panel, there we are able to customize at least three screens we have to customize throughout the day at a hybrid show. And, and it worked out great. I mean... And the producer can also get a multi-view at the tech table because of NDI. Now, Very now, live easy. panel. Did you program your own live panel? Did the folks at New Tech help you? Or we you... used no. We're using what you get when you open up live Just panel. Just the defaults. Just the defaults because and a reverse engineering to customize. Yeah, yeah. You can actually make changes on the multi-view. Yeah. For what inputs you need, and that's all we really what we need is we needed to see certain inputs. 
and then be able to move them out to the screen. Yeah. We've had good success with live so. panel in the House of Worship where volunteers are running a show. Yeah. So you can boil down a show to the, yeah. you know, a series of buttons that are easier to do. And one of the things I want to talk about with live panel that's real important, it's a great NDI feature, and that is, is you really can pre-program your show. It can remember macros and things like that. So if you could have a single button that could say, change the camera to Tony, yes. bring up a graphic, mm -hmm. and then 10 seconds later, cut to this to this thing, and then bring up you know some music it's, or play a video. Yes. It's, it's real incredible how that automation is fantastic. Yeah. I know it comes the, off as very daunting to people, though, so I was really impressed that you just said, no, I used what came in the box. I just modified it as I needed. I didn't have to, you yep. didn't build anything from scratch for no, Live Panel. No, no. And we can use the audio controller yep. of Live Panel to control the audio. Yep. So, so that's that's what we do. Um, you know, perfect example here, you know, we, we do work with, uh, I think that's, we have five docs. We usually try yep. to keep it to four or five doctors on yep. the screen. We make it look like a TV show so that people are comfortable and they're not seeing a Zoom call. Yep. Uh, customized background, lower thirds, things like that. Uh, there's a, usually a show open that's produced yep. for it, and 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 it's become uh, very very popular with the uh, medical ad agencies yep. that we work with. Now the multi cameras. Can we bring this image up sure. full screen? The multi screens. You see, I count one, two, oh, three, yes. four, five yeah, yeah, monitors yeah. there. Are you going with those monitors with SDI, HDMI, NDI, or a combination? Those of? are at that at that time that was HDMI. Okay. But they had a whole bunch of computers using the uh, the screen capture tool yep. to get the computers in. This is a few years back. That this was actually before COVID. Right. At at a gaming center that they were doing, and they brought in a whole bunch of gaming studio systems in through not not at that right. time not NDI. Well, they were doing NDI, yeah. but screen doing a screen capture. And once again, there's nothing wrong with HDMI or SDI or NDI. No. The point is, is use what you need for your workflow. That allows your creativity to, to flow. But today, you could set that up, and you could have each one of those with a decoder. Yes. And it could be off a monitor, yes. and they could be in a completely different room. Absolutely. It wouldn't matter. Now, just the change in the in the past four years, yep. you know, in in different aspects of NDI is amazing. So. So now I love asking this question because typically during, for people who've seen the shows all for the whole month of November, and today's the last day, very excited about it. We talk to our vendors about mm -hmm. what they're thinking about in the future. I get to ask you as a, a customer, a power user of NDI, yeah. what are you looking forward to in the future? And there's one thing you talked to me a little bit that you've got, you just picked up yourself, which is that it, Mackie yeah. audio mixer. So talk about that a little bit. It's our first NDI audio mixer, which was, by the way, the number one product I requested from Dr. Cross the first year NDI came out. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have Dante now, but you know, there, there's always the issues of uh, network bandwidth within, with Dante, but with NDI, we're so familiar with it yep. and its capabilities. Now, I'm not as familiar with Dante, but NDI goes two directions. Yep. Bi-directional can be very, very interesting. I can see that where I can send a mix minus to the to the, um, the main mixer, and then he can send me a feedback, a mix minus back to me, all through NDI and not using inputs on his system or my system. Okay, so as Tony, far as hard I'm going to let you educate people with a tech note that yeah. came out of the show. Quickly explain what mix minus is, because I think a lot of people might not right. understand that based on, you know, that we're just talking about NDI technology. Right. Mix minus has nothing about to do with NDI. It has to do with live production having yes. multiple speakers. Yes. So, for example, if we're at a location here and we've got somebody on Zoom and we've also got microphones yep. coming in to the room, what we do is we take the Zoom audio and we feed it directly as an input to the mixer. And then what happens is that can be fed to the room and added with the local microphones. Yep. But when he feeds it back to me, he only feeds the room. He's minusing the Zoom call yep. because I already have the Zoom audio. Yep. If I get the Zoom audio mixed again, there's going to be a delay. Yep. And that's where you get the echo. So you've got to minus the, uh, the, the, the subject audio so that it goes to a different, yep. different part of the mixer so that one one part can get a full mix for the location, and then we need a separate mix that goes out to the web. So and to the people, works, so. because if, yes. I'm, if I'm the person on the show, yes. and I hear oh, my own true. voice, it drives me crazy. So yeah. when I'm like bringing someone in remotely, I'm the minus on my earpiece. Yep. I'm hearing the show, 
but I'm not hearing myself. So An another cool. way is with the DDR. Right. I'll play send. Back, yep. I'll when I play back clips, I'll send just the audio to the mixer. Yep. And we already have it built in, so whatever comes out the TriCaster will automatically have that audio. So that's the mix, which is usually channel one yep. coming from the room, minus the DDR, which is not needed. Yep, very or, cool. So. so let's talk about something that you pulled off that th this blew my mind away because you kind of did it as a proof of concept. But there, yeah. the, a big buzzword, and we've talked about it with a lot of our vendors on the show, that, that it's remote production mm -hmm. or Remy yep. and the cloud. And they overlap, but they're not the same thing, but it depends on your workflow. But you created a Remy workflow where you actually produced a show and you were in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Well, not quite in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, you were but, in Hawaii, right? Yeah, we were on an island. So <laughs> that's the same thing. Not only that, but uh, this particular Macintosh had trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi. Okay. So I tethered my phone, and I had a NDI studio monitor. I did have somebody in New York because mm -hmm. we wanted to see how this worked. Yeah, so to back you up if it didn't yeah, work. Yeah, right, exactly. But you didn't need him. No, no. He pretty much was babysitting, yep. making sure everything stayed connected. But uh, what, So what happened was we took NDI studio monitor, and we took the multi-view. Yep. And we pulled it up on NDI Studio Monitor on a laptop. Yep. That laptop was running Parsec. And then on my local Mac, I pulled up Parsec, clicked on that computer, and up it came. Now, not only... Now, a quick little yeah, explanation yeah, yeah, for the people yeah, at home. Yeah. What is Parsec? Parsec is used as a, uh, a screen share okay. product. And it was for the gaming industry. And, and once again, with uh, COVID, it had come to the forefront in many yeah. other uses. Now, here goes back to our previous uh, question that you asked me. One of the things I would love to see, and I don't know, maybe I'm not smart enough, wouldn't it be nice to have an NDI screen share app? Yes. So I don't have to use Parsec. Yes. I would love to see that where it's as easy as a click. You know, NDI Bridge, yep. I need two computers, yep. IP and stuff like that. Yep. I want something as simple as Parsec. Computer... You Send open my up, screen over to this guy. Yep, yeah, exactly. And I open it up and I control it. Right. You know, but getting back to this, what was amazing was when I, I opened up the audio for it, I was getting program audio and the latency was minimal. I was amazed. And that's with, I have to stress this again. Yeah. You were using your phone to connect yes. to the laptop. Now you weren't sending video. It was all command to control. That's all it was. But it's still amazing it was K, what KVM you could do. KVM yep. was turned on. Uh, you have to turn KVM yep. on inside NDI Studio Monitor. And once you do that, you have control at the other end because every time I control it, it comes up on the screen, the KVM. So it was cool. Very, very yeah. cool. Tony, this was really great. I want to yeah. thank you for coming oh, on the show. Oh, it's great having you. I have a special gift great for you. Well, we're going to oh, put them on you. our yeah, NDI sure. November hats if we can proudly show them off. Cool. And this has been a great show. And I just want to remind everyone that we've yeah. got Dr. Cross coming on. Right. Uh, actually, I think we're going to roll some commercials and maybe a little bit of videos of, of stuff. we got Dr. Cross coming on cool. next. But, Tony, I always, when I have a remote guest, and I always like yeah. to say, you know, the floor is yours. Tell us a little bit about something, something you're doing. So I want to give you the floor, but I want to talk to you about, I want you to just give us a think of what's the coolest production you see that you're going to be doing this coming year in 2024? Well, we will be back in the springtime doing the hybrid event where we obviously we use the Telestrator. Yep. We have to feed the different parts of them. That's going to be cool. And oh, uh, and we use three bird dog cameras for that now. Nice. That went from like almost like studio type cameras yep. to bird dog cameras because I introduced the producer to say, hey, with a 40X lens inside the bird dog cameras, I said, I think we can use just using PTVs. The room, yeah. and, and not only that, but they the, the producers like that because we don't take up space. Yep. A lot of space. Yeah, that's one of the things about a PTZ camera that I remind people is you don't have to have a human being blocking people. You can put a PTZ camera on a pole yeah. and people can be sitting and, right behind And I'm all care. for using camera ops. Yep. But once again, it's the right tool for the right project. That's what it's all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Tony, thank you so, so much. Love the again. stuff you're doing. Digital thanks Video me. Dynamics. Yep. Tony's a video guy's customer out yep. of Long Island, New York. TC2E, TC1, bird yep. dog cameras, yep. all kinds of apps and stuff like that. A true NDI power user, yeah. Tony. Thank Thanks you so much. Have a great show, again. guys. Yep. And stay tuned for Dr. Cross a little bit later.